hey guys welcome back to iXoft original and this is the last video we're gonna do for this awesome project okay so basically we were able to create our software and everything was quite interesting and perfect so today we're going to see how we could create an installer for people to install on their computer okay so first thing first let's go to the project settings now if you have an icon you want to use you can go ahead and then choose the icon that is from the application section so here if you have any default icon you can just choose it so from this section i'm just going to go to my iXoft uh, i think iXoft um, screen recorder let's see if i can see the icon here yeah that is my icon so i'm just going to select that so that is going to be this icon for everything so you have to take your time and go through everything for the camera i just have to choose the icon so that everything is going to be working perfectly fine let's go to the main form just going to choose the icon so let's see for the main form that is the form one just have to you know do all that because if you want to give it out for a production you just have to do all that so you just have to double click on that so let's see the next one that is loading so for the loading as well let's choose this guy icon perfect let's go to the custom screen size let's choose this guy and that is perfect so i think we have the pop-up here that too um let's fix that to the icon let's see the preview let's fix that to the icon that is perfect recording mode let's do that so we are preparing to review everything let's um yeah that is quite interesting okay with the settings let's see um that is the settings yes then let's fix this there let's see the watermark that is the last but not the least so let's see watermark also but the watermark i would like not to show in taskbar right i would like not to show in taskbar let's do that all right so whilst we are done let's go back to our settings now make sure your name is quite assemb assembly name so i'm just going to say um iXoft screen was it iXoft screen recorder let's see that is iCam recorder iCam so <laughs> you have to go by the name you have so that is going to be iCam iCam recorder right so you just have to choose a .NET framework if you want to choose for you just have to choose for any of them you want to choose that is quite okay so let's go to the compile make sure everything is on point let's go to the like, publish this let's go to the publish and from the publish that is where we're gonna you know work within that so um, from here I'm just gonna set up my export so that is gonna be my desktop open okay and this version is gonna be 2.0 2.4 maybe 2.4.0 right so you can decide to, to say okay 0, 0.0 so, and that is going to be an auto increment version now let's see the application files these are the files which will be included and i really love it i want to keep it this way and let's see the frequencies if you want to add some third party net frameworks you can use but in my case i'm not i'm not going to add any third party then we have the updates here you can add an update if there is any updates available so it will be checking every seven days on all that yes if you have any required um yes so let's go to the option and here let's go to the deployment and i'm just going to take this off and open deployment web page after publish that is um no i'm not going to open any web page so i'm just going to click on ok and i'm just going to click on publish right but before you do that just go to build clean solution and that is going to clean the whole thing you can just right click on this and you say build you say um, build so that is going to build the whole thing and I think you'll not be getting any error okay so let's click on publish wizard and let's see what we have here now let's click on publish now that is going to publish the whole thing so start publishing so it is publishing and everything is done so that is it we didn't get any error so congratulations now let's see from our desktop i'm just going to go to my desktop 
and I have this application file here and that is my software so in here I have these files right so when I close my software when I close my you know my project I'm just gonna save everything like that so I'm just gonna close everything let me let me close the other one yes and when I come to this guy when I double click on this Ike software recorder software it's just gonna start everything for me so basically I, I have my software running now how can we give out an installer or a setup so I'm just gonna go to here you just have to download advanced installer and I'll try and see if I can give you um, you know a link in the description to download so you can see that my software is working perfectly fine and everything is working perfectly fine so I'm just gonna go to continue trial and it's gonna work perfectly fine for me so let's stop it that is perfect so from here we're just gonna go to visual studio solution uh, visual studio application right just this one right just click on this one okay so no let's try to okay let's go to mix um 32 64 bit package this guy right here right this guy and let's click on create new project so this is going to be a project is going to create so what is the name of the application so that is going to be ike come recorder right and what is the company you own so my company name is um ike soft technologies so i'm just gonna oh come on let's go back so that is gonna be the name of it so that's gonna be ike soft <coughs> technologies all right so let's click on next now we need an exe so just click on next here this is where it's going to save your project i'll just keep it like that and this is where it's going to you know um give you that this is where it's going to store your output file so the name of this i'm just going to say ike that is going to be icom icom recorder so i'm just going to click on next so here i'm just going to add those files so just go to the desktop application path make sure you are here select everything click on open so that is it there you go and this is for the 32 bit so if the person is using 64 bit just gonna click on this add file let's add the same thing again so that is gonna also copy this to the 64 right so okay so what is you can say install these install these files on 64 bit platform so just click on next and here this is um the machine type so you just have to already is there but just add it for reference sake and it's just going to say yes to all and that is it so click on next here we want to launch the application whenever the system stops so just going to click on this guy and that is it so launch right before installation give an optional that is what i normally use give an optional process to you know start the software by the person himself so from here we're just gonna say okay move all to pre-platform features and um build separate install database let's give it like that so click on next so here create a shortcut for the application so the shortcut is going to be the exe file so this guy that is going to be the shortcut guy so let's click on next so here it says the merge model can be customized by selecting the corresponding feature into the organization page inside advanced installer okay so let's just click on next and here you're gonna choose your installer right so the installer type you're just gonna choose the installer type so anyone you want you know is just gonna be quite awesome so I'm just gonna use this classic guy and that is what I'm gonna use so um, yes you can just say okay typical uh let's use this browse so let's click on next so you can decide to choose all languages depending on what you want to do yes and uh, well everything is going to be so depending on your on your language you have so i'm just going to choose english for now click on next so if you have a license agreement just going to click on here and then you select the license agreement right so in this case i'm just going to connect to um i'm just going to con connect my computer to my internet and i'm just going to search online to see if i can get any um you know um any licensed you know license file right so i'm just going to go to google i'm just going to search for the browser anyway okay so that is going to be um if you have the file you just have to click on add file and you will add the file to this project right so that is basically that is how it works and after this is gonna give you the opportunity 
to you know um edit it later so i'm just gonna click on the browser why my brother is not responding oh great i'll be back when it's done okay guys so um what i did was um let's go to google.com i want i want us to do everything from scratch so now let's say free license agreement templates then you click on um the first one that is what i want to use so from here that is a doc type so you can say use this template and i think it's not for free but um first of all let's click use this template let's see what we have here so it's just gonna let you sign up i think it's, it's gonna let you sign up so i'm just gonna um i'm just gonna sign up with my gmail account that is quite perfect okay so you're just gonna sign up and everything is gonna be okay so as for me i'm just gonna copy this um if you want to do it you know professionally and if you want to give it out for distribution you just have to um you know copy everything and yeah so i'm just gonna say um here then i'll just copy that but let's go back here let's see so you just have to add up some things job level is um so you say um from ceo company is iksoft iksoft technologies and the company size is um let's say you can choose within whatever you want to choose so crm is maybe uh, depending on um what do you want to choose so i'm just going to choose the first one what brought you a blah 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 so i'll just say other and phone number is going to be my phone number okay so you start using this and i think they're going to give you um the opportunity to do that but if you think um you can edit this whole template that will be quite more interesting if you think you can edit take your time to edit all um, all the templates that is going to be quite awesome so now from here i think well i won't be doing that so just have to go to um word pad just launch a word pad and let's paste what we copied so let's see I think from here it's just gonna you know it's just gonna work with it first name and all that so i think you can edit everything from here let's see if we can export this whole thing for free don't think it's gonna be like export so let's see send document so send via link so start 14 days trial they, they they're gonna let you buy or they they're just gonna let you subscribe so if, if you don't need any you know distraction you just have to paste and you edit everything right so after that just go to file and then save so you just have to save just a normal save and let's save it to our desktop agreement right so to the desktop inside my application folder save it here so now as i said they will let you buy so let's go back here and i'll just import the lances from my desktop application and there you go that is the agreement all will be lined up here so let's click on next from here just click on next and we are not building the project right away so just uncheck that and click on finish and that is going to load up the whole thing for you so there you go we have the production url product url update url and all that let's set the installer image to our icon right that is this and um yeah so let's come to this side let's set uh, we have the files and folders so from here you can see we have the 32 and then the 64 bit shortcut folder let's go to the um, desktop you see that there is no icon here so you just have to create a new um, shortcut so that is installed file right so click on this it's just gonna um, let's see something from here okay so we add I think we added the shortcut already right so it's just gonna okay so let's add a shortcut to this new shortcut yes so new shortcut and just have to 
paste the name that is going to be I come I um, I come record that copy that and let's select you know this guy so the shortcut target what is going to be the directory oh come on this is not enabling why okay so we've added this as a shortcut right let's see so this desktop is going is just going to give out this so let's go to i think um, the start menu to we can add um we can add this file that is going to be this and that is going to be awesome so after that you just have to you know take your time go through everything and when i build if you want to build for you know different platforms that is good so this is not eligible for building for mac right so yeah you can just choose your icon and uh, this is a single file so with a name and all that so if you want the msi compiling uh, you just have to use this and as well so that is basically that is how these are done right so you can just build it for different platforms and all that so i'm just gonna build this as exe and all that so but you can say okay i need m s i build as well and also i need exe build as well okay so let's see you can add a cd setup a web installer all that right and active directory setup so this is going to be the name just paste it so that is going to be this just paste copy that and then this is the exe name choose the icon to be this all that anyhow so let's see for this ms the same thing happens and let's this one it doesn't have any um you know any. so after after you are done just save your project save it replace it that is all then we just have to click on this build right so click here and oh come on undo that so this is going to be deleted don't need this okay so let's go to all right so let's go to um build this build guy right or just click here and then you say build but let's select let's click on this guy and it says okay try out period continue so it's just going to build the whole thing for you and that is going to be inside the directory as well so let's wait for it to build and as from the directory you will see that it will when you click on this it's just going to load the directory for you so you see it is bringing in all those things and it's just going to build everything into one file so all is done everything is done and it's perfect so that is how we build a setup for all these guys and i believe um so that is the executable file so you just have when you come here you have this as well so you just have to copy this to your guy or to your friend to anyone and so i'm just gonna copy this right and i'm gonna go to my computer go here to my applications folder paste it here and i'm just gonna go to this guy as well yes and i'm gonna copy this um come back to my application folder paste this here so okay it's the same thing so let's see from um our software here i think the first one was this let's see click on that it's just gonna open up for you there's the executable file for the first one let's see the second one so that is the second one that is this and let's see the third one that is kind of cool okay so they are two files right so they are two files so you can just copy that one too and that is also going to work perfectly fine that is going to be this executable so you just have to copy the whole thing from here and let's come back here let's come back to the uh, application folder paste it right here let's replace it everything is done so after that you just have to close everything so just click on ok close this and close this let's close everything good so just gonna close, the, close this let's go back here go to the desktop 
application then you have this i right click i double click it's gonna you know run the installer for me okay so i'm just gonna click on nest click on nest nest install and it's gonna ask for the right and that is gonna you know install everything for me so here i can launch it i can decide not to launch it so let's launch it so that is it perfectly fine and i can indeed in fact uh, view my desktop icons and you can see that automatically it will be creating a desktop a desktop shortcut here for you that is it that is perfectly fine so just continue i'm just going to close this yes and i have this desktop shortcut here so when i double click on that it's just going to run the whole software for me all right okay so let's see from directory all right so guys that is how all is done and you can see i have it here i can run it and it's working perfectly fine i can go here right click more um you know you know pin to taskbar and all that and it's going to be pinned to to the taskbar right so i have it here when i even close it you see that i still have it for it to be here right I still have it for you to be here okay guys thank you very much for watching this very tutorial this series is has been a long series and i believe you've gotten the basic understanding everything you need to know is being added to this project until we meet again on our next lesson have a nice day and ixoft the original is out